Hi guys. Figured we'd uh, do a video update on the garden. Um, I've had a lot of people who wanted to, to hear about the, uh, uh, the progress uh, so far, so I figured we'd do a video update. Plus, I can upload this to, to YouTube and, uh, and share like uh, how it's been going for me. Uh, I don't know. I find it, I find the YouTube to be like an inv invaluable resource and uh, even just like regular everyday day people doing things. Um, so I figured I'd try to get back and uh, I have no idea what this video looks like. Uh, this is on an iPhone and the iPhone uh, has a thing where you can't, during recording, you can't switch between the front camera and the rear camera. So I'm staring at the back of the iPhone right now, and I can't tell what's going on, so pardon. And uh, the audio is the earbuds, so uh, it's the best I could do. Uh, anyway, <laughs> I'm not a professional video ed editor, obviously, so anyway, let's just get on with it. <laughs> Alrighty, so I think some of y'all saw some pictures uh, of, of the bed. Uh, and some of y'all I have spoke to, but here it is right now. Um, the last time I posted pictures, it was, I had just put the bed down, and uh, we hadn't planted anything. Well, I had some more mulch since then, and uh, and uh, and that's how I got. So the, the, the bed itself is, is just a bunch of, uh, so the first thing I did is, you know, I laid down some two by fours to keep things from washing away, or four by fours. And then uh, I put down like so so much freaking compost. The compost all come from Lowe's, these, these big bags. Eventually I wisened up uh, and had them just load a pallet or like a par part of a whole pallet, like right directly in the back of the, the pickup bed. That is the way to go, guys. <laughs> so much easier. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, this is like, I don't know, 60 bags is a ridiculous amount of compost. Uh, uh, before I, before I put the compost down, there's there's just there's cardboard. This is it's it's a thing called what is it? Uh, no dig, uh, no big, no dig gardening or something other. Anyway, put the cardboard down and it's supposed to block the weeds. Not that I have to worry about an abundance of weeds here, my nice sandy soil. <laughs> but uh, anyway, it's there, uh, and uh, and and that's that's how we're doing it. <laughs> So let me show you what I got uh, as far as the, the actual uh, plants. So I got a bunch of tomatoes. We love some tomatoes. Some of this stuff I eat, and some of this is, is just stuff that uh, the family requests, uh, some of my family members requested. So, uh, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. So we got some peppers. I got three peppers. Well, three red and green peppers and then three uh orange peppers i'm not going to use proper names for things guys so because i'm not an expert and you're not coming to me for expertise <laughs> so we got a bunch of eggplant which i apparently got but you know don't even eat a lot of eggplant i, I don't know why i guess it's, it was like grabbing everything uh i got all of this uh all of the plants themselves from a local local nursery um I was surprised how cheap it was, but anyway, I got these all from seedlings. We got some uh, uh, squashes. Uh, actually, so six squashes, and then we have some. Uh, we got cucumbers. Um, I think Colton loves uh, cucumbers, so we have like these regular cucumbers with burpless. Burpless. And quote unquote pickling, <laughs> whatever that means. And uh, and I got zucchini, zucchini, eat a lot of zucchini, sweet, sweet banana peppers, which I figured we could uh, preserve those. What do you call it? Pickle those. That'd be really good. This is squashes. Uh, so that's how the, the garden's going so far. This has been about uh two weeks uh since i planted these no it's been a week it's been a week since i i, I laid these down and uh i've watered like two or three times or so it seems to be doing pretty good 
these uh, squash. Again, I don't know what I'm doing, but I think like when you see the yellowing leads, that uh, that means they're they're stressed or whatever. But apparently, from what I gather, it's really normal for squash for the lower leaves to yellow, like right after planting. I guess it's these these round leaves versus the sharpie leaves. <laughs> Uh, and I got all this space here. This is actually not empty space. There's a well, there, I don't know if you <laughs> check this out. I want to love my uh, how well I can align these rows. And so I started out, you know, whatever, <laughs> and, then, and then this. So, yeah, um, I think that I need to figure out how to use those those lines to, to make straight lines anyway <laughs> string lines yeah <laughs> I gotta figure out how to use string lines <laughs> but uh, we I did so everything else was from seedling uh, was uh, from the, the already little seedlings I guess you call them plant, plant plantings or whatever and then I did they didn't have any watermelon so I got the uh, watermelons from seed and I just put two seeds in because I didn't think that you know, in case one of them didn't, didn't take or whatever. And there's supposed to be six. One, two, three, four, five, six. These, and for the longest time, I thought one of these did take. Well, two of these did take. Because there's two in each one. But here's this little guy right here. Right there. Get it in frame, Corey. Stop being a moron. Alright, so, so that's great. It's so fantastic seeing these little seedlings come up and everything. This has been so much fun. Um, but this is this is my big grand experiment. Uh, of course, I'm gonna go big or go home. <laughs> and, uh, so uh, I was at Walmart today, and I just went nuts uh, buying seeds, and I got a bunch of stuff. So I've been like reading. Well, reading and watching online about some some things called like companion plants, so like plants that you can grow by other plants, and either complements them or doesn't interfere with them. And I think one of the the most famous examples is is something called uh, Three Sisters, and that's where you got squash and uh, corn and uh, climbing beans, and apparently. Well, I don't, you, you can look it up, but the, the beans climb on the corn and the, uh, the, the squash like covers the ground. Uh, and they don't, they don't really interfere with each other too much. Um, this is like a thing with like the Native Americans or something like that. So anyway, so I, so I went like crazy uh, looking at all these, these matrices for, for different plants can grow with what plants and all their companions and stuff. So, so I got a bunch of those that I that I had outlined last night, and so I got uh, I got some onions, which I've I've never even I'm like even when we were growing uh, our gar family garden when we were little, we never grew onions that I remember, and so this will be a first, definitely a first. This is first my first garden, uh, in case anybody didn't know. So uh, again, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I got some sunflower, which is uh, is an, uh, sometimes like seems like kind of an alternative to the sweet corn in a lot of places, as far as companionship goes. So anyway, it'd be fun. I could probably put some at least like on the edge of the bed. You know that that'd be fun. And then I got some herbs: oregano, basil, dill, cilantro. Don't really use a lot of herbs, but apparently you could just plant them nearby things, and it like you know helps things out. And then there was some things that were missing whenever I bought my initial payload of, of plants. And that is okra, uh, collard, green, uh, collard greens, and turnip greens. So <laughs> I got this. I don't know where I'm going to put them. Uh, but uh, yeah, so all of these are from Walmart. And th these are the watermelon seeds uh, right here. Jubilee, whatever that means. And I guess maybe this is the brand wax. But anyway. Uh, Yes, let me turn this around and say uh, goodbye. Anyway, so yeah, that's 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 how things stand. I uh, also had this this really crappy uh, uh, 
whatever water sprayer thing or whatever I got a new one coming in that I can control the beam a little bit better um, but it had not been that bad they seem to be doing I think I went almost a full week without even watering them uh, before they they started drooping and that's even with like without like rainwater so I think it's gonna do pretty good it seems like I, even when you know, I come out here and check it, and I'm, I dig in the ground. I can't do it today because it, it just rained, but you could just dig around, like, up in the ground, and you'd go, like, an inch thick, and it was it was nice and moist. So I'm guessing, you know, that's the whole point of you using compost and, and mulch and stuff. And so I guess maybe we'll, we'll do the – I think I'm, I'm probably going to do the, the planting here. Um, uh, the plant these plants here as I kind of figure it all out. And uh, and probably lay some like wood mulch down as an additional cover, and that'll probably because there's only like I think you're supposed to have like four inches, but mine's like two to four inches. So uh, some places are a little low, and of course you got the cardboard. So I don't I don't know how this is gonna play. I don't know how well the the roots are going to be able to dig through that cardboard if it's going to break it down enough like over the season for them to break through that cardboard um, so that'll be interesting to see or even if they need to break through the cardboard like I said I don't know what's going on oh I got this little rain meter because I didn't know how much I was watering in fact sometimes it would be uh, too truthful here sometimes I forget that I left the water on and it'd just be like tons of water <laughs> come out here there would be tons of water like way out here but you get at the very least it doesn't seem like i can overwater. it seems like it drains really well so anyway i got this little uh it's, ooh, my uh my earphones falling off because i'm fiddling with my ear. we got this little water rain thing so this is what actually came down today and this is really neat um I, you can't see it but it's like 15 14 millimeters yeah millimeters half an inch half an inch right so that's that's neat I'm, you know I'm, it's just uh this is so fun and you know i'm on computers all day so having something that's completely disconnected from that is just it's been so fun um and seeing things grow like you know i just giggle every time i see those those uh those watermelons that came up because i you know i just plant them in the ground and they came up and this is kind of amazing uh i know i know it's like the most mundane thing in the world but anyway i just love it and uh so yeah that's uh that's how things are going here and uh i'll post more updates like uh uh i don't know probably another week or two uh about how this other stuff goes and then, and then uh and then i don't know if you, if you guys got any tips or stuff like that uh i'm open to hearing that as well so anyway i'm a rambling at this point i hope you guys have a lovely day and uh i'll talk to you later